It has been a pretty rough week. Russia invaded Ukraine. What are we going to do about that? What can this channel do about that? What can my viewers do to stop war ravaging across Europe? Because that's what's going to happen, guys. I hope you're prepared. I hope you are settled into your bunkers and you're preparing for the nuclear strikes that are almost certainly coming. And you know what? Who's going to send them? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter who's going to shoot them first. The UK? The, well, the UK is definitely not going to shoot them first. That would be ridiculous. But Russia? Maybe. Who knows what they're capable of? They literally did this. Can you believe they did this? Like, I read it. I, I read it and I'm like, I can't believe they did that. That is so bullshit. In many ways, it's Bolshevik. And I scored. My god, what a joke that was. What a joke that was. Like most people, I'm pretty, pretty worried about it. Putin? I'm just going to come out and say it, okay? I ain't afraid. That man's a mad dog. And what do we do with mad dogs? Put them down. Gotta put them down. You heard it here first, okay? I'm calling for people to rise up in revolution and say, Putin, no, man. You can't just start a war. That is mental. Literally, the Ukraine is not yours. I don't know what the hell you think you're doing. Oh! I feel like NATO right now. I feel taken aback. I feel shocked by what just happened. And I feel like it was on me in many ways. It was my fault. That was my... Maybe, well, is that fair, though? Is this whole Ukraine situation NATO's fault? Another big question. And the answer to that, I'm going to say, is no. Not really. I mean, it's not really. I mean, you're going to get people quick, you know, to blame the, what should we say, the West. They're going to blame the West. They're going to say, this is the West's fault, somehow. We made Putin, somehow. We did something to somehow cause this. Did we? Maybe. Who knows? It's a question lost to time. And it's better just to accept what our culture has long been obsessed with. Ending our culture. And I don't mean Western culture. I mean all culture. No, I don't want to say that. Let's be optimistic. Let's be optimistic about the Third World War that is um, days away from, let's face it, escalating to new heights. Let's remember what um, my fellow genius, Albert Einstein, said. He said, I can't believe I had to push that in like that. I don't need to come riding up behind you. Listen, let's remember what Albert Einstein said. He said that the Third World War will be fought with nuclear weapons, and the Fourth World War will be fought with sticks and stones. What do you think he was getting at there? What do you think he was trying to say? I'll tell you what I think he was trying to say. He was trying to say, Putin is a mad dog. That guy is nutcases. He's wackadoo. You know, he's a freak show. And I think, and you know, and I, and I really don't use this term lightly, but I think he is an example of toxic masculinity. Putin is an example of toxic masculinity. Men, like me, we've learned to move past invading other countries. We've learned to not take things that are ours just because we're men. Just because, like, we can all fight a bear. We could all go out and find a bear and fuck that bear up with our fists. But we don't, because it's toxic. You know, we could all take a bunch of propaganda pictures of ourselves not wearing a, a shirt. We could all be a KGB spy, but we don't, because it's pathetic and it's like, come on, get a life. Just get a life, Putin. But then again, in, in certain ways, we have to respect a man who's willing to do such insane things on such a large global scale. Uh, that guy is... Fuck! Okay, we're losing right now. Have I already compared myself to NATO? Maybe I should start comparing myself to Ukraine. Maybe that would be inappropriate. But one thing is clear to me. Oh, like the orange team, Putin has been playing the long game. He's been waiting for the right opportunity to force himself in somewhere where he isn't wanted. Toxic. Unnecessary. Can't we all just get along? This is unbelievable. I, I, like, I haven't done Rocket League in weeks. And what happens when I don't do it? War in Europe. Maybe, maybe this will ultimately bring about peace. Maybe this will bring about peace. Maybe this is sort of our generation's version of the, uh, the football game that the Germans and the English played at Christmas time during, during the First World War. Maybe this is what that is. 
NATO's chance to strike back, okay? The best defense is offense. Ask any soldier. This game is going on, and it's really boring. It's like war. It never ends. It's incredibly brutal. I mean, they're taking easy shots, because I'm a smaller target. Everybody else has abandoned me, by the way. Notice this. Everybody's deserted me. So, again, also like war in that sense. I am the only one left fighting for the right cause. And what is the right cause? Let me tell you right now. The right cause is a free Ukraine. A Ukraine that is free to vote in independent elections. Or something. I don't know. Is that what the Ukraine is? I think that's what the Ukraine is. Ukraine. An interesting sounding country, isn't it? Ukraine. Is it? Not really. Not particularly, actually. I changed my mind about that. I mean, I wonder how long it'll be until I'm sort of bored of it. And then I'm like, yeah, I really don't want to hear about the Ukraine anymore. A slight victory. This is a small victory for me, for the North Atlantic Treaty Organization. I mean, I'm losing... I'm losing... I'm losing a bit of hope here. And I mean, I, and I hope that the situation doesn't get worse in all seriousness. But also... You know, does it affect this game? Does it affect this channel? As we all know, those are, uh, those are pretty important things. Okay, loss. Loss. Victory... Victory is not in sight yet for us. It's a long road. A long road ahead. That must be travelled. That must be walked. How are we going to face up to that challenge? Are we going to look... Danger in the face? Or are we going to shy away from our responsibilities? You tell me. You tell me. That's what this channel is about. Deciding the future of Ukraine. Leave a comment. You know, tell me who, t tell me who you're betting on. Who are you betting on? Right, before I say anything I don't want to say, I'm going to leave this. So... Bye, comrades. I don't want to say that either. Bye, friends. Goodbye, friends. That's what we are in the West. We're friends. Okay, I'm leaving. Goodbye.